Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this we going to perform score after flipping the matrix. It simply says that we are given a m cross n binary matrix for less grid. We a move is it consists of choosing any row or any column and then toggling each value. Which means if I choose a row or a column, I can toggle each value of that row or a column. As you can see, they have chosen this row and they have toggled as in flipped every value they have chosen this column now and they have flipped every value so this is what they are actually trying to do every row of the matrix is interpreted as a binary number now they specifically mention that this row is considered as a binary number and the score of the matrix is the sum of these numbers so every row is a binary number and the score is the sum of these rows and row is a binary number so it is sum of these binary numbers. Cool. We have to have done the highest possible score. Now I have to have done the highest possible score. It is very obvious that what I am doing. I am adding up n rows and getting the maximum sum. Addition of some rows is maximum only when individual rows are maximum. So I have to make sure that this which is a binary number it should actually be maximum now to analyze this number let's see what this number means if i just again write a random number let's say if this row would have 10110 as the first row then this the extreme rightmost it contributes to rich power 0 then the first bit contributes to rich power 1 this is standard how we convert a binary number to a normal decimal so this can like contribute to rich power 2 this contributes to rich power 3 this contributes to rich power 4 so we can easily see that if I have this as a binary number, this will be the contribution and this will be the actual number which I should add in my answer, add in my answer for every row. Now my main task, I want to maximize this result, this result I want to maximize. So I should maximize individual rows, if I maximize individual rows, then what, what, what will happen? Simply I will be having this as, this as a result, but I showed you this to just show you the impact of every bit. Now. For this bit manipulation, a bit knowledge is required. If you have not watched this crash course, I highly recommend check the pinned comment in which you will see the crash course link. And please, go, it, it's just one hour. We'll actually have every trick of bit manipulation. Now, this numbers shows what? This shows the contribution of 2 power 4 on the extreme leftmost bit. And this is the other contribution for other bits. If I just compare the extreme leftmost bit contribution with the other bits, I will see the extreme left foot leftmost bit contribution is 16 which is even if i add all the other bits contribution it will be 15 so this makes us that extreme leftmost bit is of highest priority for us so no matter what so no matter what if this is a zero i will have to have to make it a one now there is one way that i can make it a one one way is i should flip again I know that this bit, this bit have to have to become a one. So one way is that I can flip this entire column itself. But if I flip the entire column, there's a high chance that the other rows will become zero. So I cannot take that risk of making other rows as a zero because I want to make sure that their contribution is also important. So all this first column is very important. Column zero is very important for me. So what I will do? Okay, I will just flip the row itself. So I know I have to flip the row. If some column zero is zero, if the column zero value is zero, I have to flip that entire row itself. So what I will do, I will go and check okay, if the column zero is one, do nothing. If not, then flip the entire row again, which means flip the flip every bit. Now to flip every bit, I have poly dot. There's a simple trick of doing a ZOR and you can flip any of the numbers. Now uh, we know that this is something after flipping the entire row will look like. Okay, the first row again, I will flip only those rows which have a zero. So as you, as you remembered, we have a zero here. That's the reason I flipped first row or I can say zero row. Remaining rows will remain as it is. Now, okay, my first column is sorted which means column 0 is sorted. Now let's worry about the other columns. But if I ask you if the column 0 is sorted, although you, you are just trying to make this matrix, so you will make this matrix and ultimately what you can do is you can just get the contribution. You can just get the contribution. The contribution of this bit, what this bit will contribute? This bit will contribute 1 into 
2 raised to the power what is 0 1 2 3 2 raised to the power 3 right i can write the same thing as 2 raised to the power m minus 1 because this bit will contribute 1 into 2 raised to the power m minus 1 minus 1 which is m minus 2 so i can simply write this as this every specific this specific bit this specific bit will contribute me 2 raised to the power m minus 1 or to be more in general with how other bits will contribute i can write the same thing as 2 raised to the power m minus 1 minus j here you can see the j is a 0 that is the reason i will have nothing here the j is 1 so it is minus 2 so it was m minus 2 cool now uh, i can also see that for sure in the very beginning all the column 0 again this is i'm just showing you for your knowledge that for sure in the very beginning column 0 will have all ones it is very possible to make that's the reason what i will do i will have n into 2 raised power n m minus 1 for sure as the contribution for the first column and make sure i am just checking the individual contribution individual contribution of the first row or first to first column is this next to next column is again this next to next column is again this so i know that it i have n rows so n is the number of rows into contribution of every bit is this okay now let's go on to the next column which is column number one if i go on to this column i know um again i can just simp i just want this number to be maximum right this number is ultimately maximum ultimately what i'll do okay i am just getting okay the contribution of this bit 1 into 2 raised power 3 plus the contribution of this bit 1 to raised power 1 plus contribution of this bit let's say 0 again i'm just getting the contribution of these bits plus 0 into 2 raised power uh, sorry 2 raised power it is 2 it is 1 it is 0 so and the same way i get for next row 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 and everything is being added everything is being added so no matter if i add like this or if I add like this, both will remain same. So ultimately, my task is to have as many number of ones as possible. Now, for this specific column, again, there, there is no row modifications I can do. I cannot do any of the row modifications because if I do row modifications, my extreme leftmost one will actually return to zero and I cannot afford that. So what I will do, I can now only do a column modification. So let's look at this column. Would you like to modify it? If you will modify it, the number of ones right now you have is 2. Column count is 2. If you will modify it, as in if you will flip this entire column, your column count will become 3 minus 2. Because number of ones will become 0 and the remaining zeros will become 1. So it will become a 1. So you will take advantage. Whoever is giving maximum number of ones, that is beneficial for me. So if my column count is more than n minus column count, then I will not flip. But if my column count is less, as you can see in this case, my column count is 1. But my n minus column count will be a 2, right? Which is the other 0 count. So I will say it is beneficial for me to flip. So I will now flip it. And when I say I will flip it, what is the contribution? Contribution is again, again, this is for your knowledge. Contribution is not, again nothing but number of funds, number of funds into contribution of that column. That column I know that this, this specific column, because it is on the second second column this contribution will be 2 raised power m minus 1 minus j it will be 2 raised power m minus 1 minus j and the same way for the last column i can see that all of them are zero column count is zero it is much beneficial for me to flip if i flip it i will have a n minus column count which is three cool and thus again i can just see the contribution which is n minus column count multiply by multiply by 2 raised power m minus 1 minus j and thus by this i always choose greedily because again firstly i exhausted my row flip then at every column i check do i flip it do i flip it do i flip it considering i just need to have a sum of all these numbers so summation will be maximum when the individual stuff are as maximum as possible now let's see the code again it's a simple greedy and manipulation which we used firstly we made sure that if if my first column for every row if my first column is a zero then you will have to have to flip it so only if my first column of any row is zero i will flip the entire row and again i showed you how i can flip it if not then simply go and watch this video cool now when the first first column zero column zero is done now i will go on to all the other columns from column one to column j sorry column one to column m minus one and then i will simply have a check what is the column count by simply checking in that specific column what is the number of ones i have what is the number of ones i have now if the column count 
if the column count is less than the n minus column count it is much beneficial for me to flip the entire column so i'll flip the entire column now this is my proper matrix which i have achieved so far now simply add the contribution i showed you how to add the contribution go on to every column as you can see i went on to every row you can just go on to every cell also but you know the contribution of each cell is if the grid value is one or a zero one or a zero and this is a contribution based on what column it resides on and thus you can get the answer so you realize the time complexity is nothing but o of m into n in every case so it will be o of m into n but but you did what you are modifying the existing grid so ultimately it is not a good practice to modify the existing grid so ultimately you have to make a copy of the grid and then modify the grid which will take o of m into n space can we improvise it yeah we can because we realized as we were seeing this exact same example we realized one thing that column this like for sure the column zero will have all ones it will have all ones it will be always possible to have all ones because if not then i will flip the entire row so all ones will always be possible which means in my answer i will for sure for sure be able to contribute a n into 2 to the power m minus 1 so no matter what if if you have a grid in the very beginning itself for this column 0 add the contribution of n number of rows into contribution of every cell at column 0 okay i added that now now my task starts now if you remember this was the original matrix you have not you have not flipped it because flipping was not allowed but you still knew that the contribution of this specific first column will be this now you went on to this this again you will have to do one thing let's use the exact same funda you will go and find the column count column count if you remembered was a 2 and then you will go and find the n minus column count whosoever is large that will contribute as an answer for you so here the column, column count was large so it contributed as an answer I had a 2 here and then the contribution of that specific column if and as, as you can see for the next row my column count is was 1 while my n minus column count was a 2 so I contributed an n minus column count so I realized whosoever is large they actually contribute for that specific jth column but uh, if I see here here the column count is 1 and not a 2 okay makes sense here the column count is 1 but here I can see it is a 2 yeah why is that the case it is the case because while you were counting the column earlier this was already a one because the first row was flipped because of this first column of row zero but in this case i'm not flipping any column but i should still have in my mind that will this row or will this cell be flipped this is only possible when this row would have been flipped and this would have only possible this row would have been only flipped when the cell this cell would have been zero which means the column zero on that specific ith row would have been zero then only the ith row would have been flipped if yes then just contribute this cell's contribution after flipping it so while i'm going on to every every cell in this column i will check do i flip it or not and to know that i will check my zeroth column in that specific row if it is zero which means i should flip it and then again when i say flip it flip it imaginary and then add its contribution in my column count okay go on to this cell it is one so don't flip it and add a zero this cell it is one don't flip it add a one so thus i achieved a two for my specific column and thus ultimately everything remains exactly same so you realized that first for the very column very column zero I added a m minus 1 minus j and that will be added n times because of n rows this is for the first column column 0 for the other columns column 1 to column m i went on to all again i will go on to the specific column j i will go on to all the rows and for that specific row i will check that okay if the column 0 was a 0 which means i should flip the bit and then add its contribution so technically i'm flipping the bit and then adding its contribution again if it is one then don't flip it and add the contribution as it is thus when the contribution is added things remain exactly same if the column count is less then add the n minus column count contribution if the column count is more then add the column count contribution contribution is one raised to 
one con contribution is 2 raised to the power m minus 1 minus j. If you don't know what this means, this is simply a left shift operation. One is left shifted m minus 1 minus j times and thus it achieved this number. If you still am confused in this, simply go and watch this one video and you will be good to go. Thus, you will see that in the final approach, we did not modify the input array and thus achieved our actual exact same funda in O of 1 space. And that's how you simply solve it. Cool. Bye-bye. Take care.